Today, I'm talking about ECG and specifically ECG on the Apple Watch. This video today, man, it's got me really worked up already and we haven't even started filming yet. Now, the reason this has me so worked up is because I can't get ECG on the Australian Apple Watch yet. Buy an Apple Watch in Australia, wave, ECG, goodbye. So today, I wanna to talk a little bit about what ECG is if you're not aware of it, and also about essentially why ECG is available in some countries and not available in other countries. I don't know what ECG is, it actually stands for electrocardiogram. And the exact specification of an ECG is that it's a medical test that detects heart problems by measuring the electrical activity generated by the heart as it contracts. It's a method that doctors use to basically check for what might be a pre-existing or existing heart condition. So what, a, what an ECG does is it puts like a bit of a trace and it uses the electronic signal of the heart. Now I'm not a doctor, so don't like cite me on any, any, on any of this. This is just from what I know, but basically it has a signal. And what it does is that signal, that electronic signal puts like a trace or a shape and there's a normal range and a normal shape that that should look like. And there's an abnormal range. So if your, if your watch reading looks abnormal, they can say, hmm, You've probably got some sort of health condition, some heart condition, and you should really get that checked out in further detail. Now, where the Apple Watch comes into this is with the Series 4 that came out a few years ago, they released an ECG feature for it to basically read and do an ECG of your heart. So it gives you the little shape and everything. It's super cool. I've seen videos of other YouTubers out there that have been showing the feature. They've done the actual ECG on their watch and they've realized that they actually do have a heart condition. So it's pretty crazy and it has helped out a lot of people that they're pretty much as asymptomatic. So really cool feature, definitely such a really awesome invention and awesome that it's on a consumer grade device. And if it's such a cool feature, why is it only available in certain countries? And that comes down to local laws of each country. Most countries, the sale of a medical device requires some sort of pre-approval or some sort of approval before it can go out onto the shelves. In Australia, for example, the definition for a medical device is devices that intend to provide therapeutic benefits or modify or monitor anatomy or physiological functions of the body. And that very definition there puts the Apple Watch into medical device territory. Under like the legal classification, it starts to get into the medical device territory. And once you're in the medical device territory, you actually need to be regulating that. Countries regulate these devices. You can't just, like I couldn't just go on the street and say, hey, I'm giving away ECG devices. Here, go measure your heart and see if you've got a heart condition. That'd be crazy. So it needs to all be tested, needs to be approved. And that's just a really long process that Apple has to go through for each country to get that done. So surely it can't be that hard to get through it, right? You know, it's just a matter of you go through the steps, you fill out the forms, you deal with the countries, you can deal with the government, and then off you go, you start selling your watch. But here's the thing. I think there's two reasons why some countries just don't have it. And I think the first reason is revenue. It's just not economically feasible for Apple to sell these devices in some countries where, where they're just not going to make that much extra revenue for it when they're not even selling it at an extra cost. For example, in Australia, we only have a population of 13 million, even less. And, you know, for Apple to go ahead and spend all this time trying to get approvals for the ECG and, and things like that, it's just not worth it for them. They're just like, you know what, stuff it. We'll just give them the watch, but we'll just take that feature off. It's so much easier for us and who really cares? It's just Australia, right? Well, I care. But anyway, basically comes down to that revenue. And the second point is that it's essentially dependent on how strict the regulators are. If Apple sees that the regulators for that specific country are just super difficult to deal with, they're not, they're not going to bother doing it. I, I wouldn't. Like if it's going to take me a year and i got to deal with this company, I need to hire my lawyers, I need to pay heaps of people to set out all this documentation, all this other stuff and get it tested and just go back and forth. Like it's just too hard. I might as well just you know, take the feature off. So I think that's the two main reasons. I mean, obviously I'm from Australia, so I'm talking in specific to Australia, but I think all countries that just don't have it are quite similar. Yeah, we're really quite upset that we don't have the ECG feature. But then as I was saying all this, you might've been thinking, well, hang on, you know, there must be a way to get it somehow, right? I mean, there's always a way and you would be right. And while I don't recommend this, what you can do is you can actually purchase a US watch, for example, or a watch from a country that does have it. I mean, US would just be the easiest. 
and you can import that into your country and it will have the ECG feature. Just be careful if you're getting and looking at the cellular version of the watch because I'm not sure if the cellular features would work. I've seen mixed reviews on that. However, I do know that if you get the GPS version, it'll all work seamless. It will sync with your phone, which is if you bought it from your country. Like if you bought the watch from the US and then your phone's from Australia, it just doesn't, it will work fine. But yeah, don't, don't take my word for that. That's my disclaimer. I'm not recommending that you do that. It's just something that I've read about that people have done and I've seen that it has worked for them. Thanks for joining me today, guys. And if you do enjoy Apple Watch content, check out this video here about top apps or this video here for top apps on the Apple Watch. I'm never sure which side to point, so I'm just pointing to both. And if you enjoy my content, then definitely consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red button down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.